everybody, and welcome to Universe Says. Today is Thursday, April 29th, 2021, and I'm Angela Copeland. And I started off my day with a beautiful, fabulous, glorious massage. It was my birthday week present to myself. Felt amazing. Uh, needed that. Um, Lisa was my massage therapist's name and she has like magic hands she does I've been seeing her for a year and a half now I guess off and on you know um, when I get massages and so glad I discovered her when I moved here because um, she really knows how to find those spots you know <laughs> finds those spots all right so on today the 30th got my uh, trust a calendar. We are one day away from the end of the month. It's going to be May, day after tomorrow. Ah, oh, wow, May already. Crazy, crazy. All right, so let's um, see though how these last two days in April are going to finish out for us and what the universe has to say. All righty, all righty. All right. So April 29th. Again, I've not looked at it. I never look at it until just now. Boom, there we are. Look at the little flowers. It's, it must be springtime. There's flowers. Right now we're getting the April showers, by the way, at my house, but we need the April showers. All right, so let's see who said this. Alan Armitage, not sure who that is. As we know, since I never looked these up before, I don't have an opportunity to, to get background on somebody and sometimes, or even how to pronounce her name, but I think I'm pretty uh, sure about this one. Alan Armitage, gardening simply does not allow one to be mentally old because too many hopes and dreams are yet to be realized. Uh, I think I just needed to read that a little differently. Again, I don't read this before. Can you tell? Um, gardening simply does not allow one to be mentally old because too many hopes and dreams are yet to be realized. There, now I read it like it makes a little more sense. <laughs> so Alan Armitage, I wonder, he must have been a gardener, huh? Oh, somebody tell me. Uh, but isn't that true? You know, you're planting a seed, you're trimming, you're watering, you're fertilizing, you're doing all of these things to see growth and change and for that plant to produce whatever it should produce, whether it's a, a vegetable, a fruit, a flower, um, or just beautiful leaves, right? But you're doing things to nurture it and grow it and to watch it change with all of those little steps that you're taking, uh, which is kind of what we do in our lives, right? We're making sometimes small little changes and steps, a uh, little water here, <laughs> a little water there, <laughs> a little weeding on occasion. We got to pull some weeds in our lives, don't we? <laughs> Man, maybe we should just do a whole show on how to pull weeds in your life. Uh, anyway. Um, but that's when you're doing things like that, you know, would you water a plant if you knew it had no chance of living, of ever producing anything, of ever changing? Ah, oh, that wasted time, right? No, you do it because you know that your effort's going to result in something. Um, and so when you're planting seeds mentally, you're not stagnating. You're, you're believing in your own growth, your own possibility of change, um, and that there are things yet to do in your life, right? those hopes and dreams. So that's what, when I read this um, from Alan Armitage this morning, what that means to me. What does the, the quote mean to you? Again, gardening simply does not allow one to be mentally old because too many hopes and dreams are yet to be realized. 
Uh, that's going to be a keeper for me too at the end of the year when I decide which quotes I want to keep and hold on to for reference or inspiration. This is going to be one of them, I can tell that. So let me know your thoughts about Alan, what he has to say, and how you garden, literally or um, metaphorically, <laughs> how, how you garden. I would love to hear that. So tomorrow, as I mentioned, is the last day of April. It's April 30th, and then we'll be turning another corner and into another month, and it's going to be May. Um, but that's all right. Again, I'm, I still have hopes and dreams yet to be realized, so I'm glad there's days to come. <laughs> I'm really glad there are days to come. So I will be back tomorrow on the 30th of April. We'll see what senor or senora uh universe has to say for us on that day and as always until then please take care of yourself <laughs>